As more institutions enter the Web3 industry, seeking safe and reliable ways to generate rewards from their digital assets, protocol staking is proving to be the most attractive and effective reward generation mechanism, providing a steady stream of rewards independent of underlying prices. Protocol staking is the core of proof-of-stake protocols, aligning the interests of token holders and network operators, bringing together Satoshi's original vision where the token holder runs, maintains, and benefits from the network. For example, anyone with 32 ETH can run a validator node, participate in the network consensus, and earn rewards for doing so. But what exactly is protocol staking and why does it matter? Well, I'm glad you asked. My name's Chris, and let's dive into how protocol staking can generate rewards for you, your organization, and your customers. I've put chapters in the description, along with all relevant links to help you easily navigate to the information you're looking for. So why stake? Well, the term staking has become synonymous with just about any activity that offers rewards for locking up your tokens over a period of time. This isn't accurate, and it's led to a lot of confusion regarding proof of stake protocols. When I say staking, I'm referring to protocol staking, not liquidity provisioning, not lending, or any other stake and earn DeFi activity. DeFi standing for decentralized finance. In short, protocol staking is a process in which token holders can earn rewards by staking their digital assets in proof of stake blockchain networks. This process secures the network, attesting to the validity of the open ledger, validating transactions, and producing new blocks. But wait, how does staking increase the security of the protocol? Well, protocol staking increases security of proof of stake protocols by locking up a portion of the available token supply. Looking at one example, for a bad actor to attack the network, they would need 51% of the circulating supply of tokens in a particular network. As the percentage of tokens staked increases, the ability to overtake the network becomes increasingly more difficult. Even better, once a protocol has a 50% stake rate or higher, it makes this kind of attack impossible for a bad actor to come in and obtain 51% of a supply since it's not available. But what about staking rewards? Where do they come from? And how do they work? I'm sure all of you have heard, if you don't know where the rewards are coming from, you are the rewards. So let's break down protocol staking rewards. Staking rewards primarily come from two sources. The first is what we call inflationary. To incentivize token holders to stake their tokens, most proof of stake protocols are inflationary by design and distribute the newly minted tokens to stakers. Along with these newly minted block rewards, stakers also collect a portion of the fees generated from transactions on the protocol. Transaction fees on Ethereum are aptly named gas. You can imagine Ethereum like a car, and just like a car, in order for it to move, it's gonna consume some amount of gas. The transaction fee is the gas needed to cover the operational costs of running blockchain infrastructure. As a result, not staking on inflationary chains could lead to principal erosion. At the same time, staking is like dollar cost averaging every day on the protocol you're helping secure. Along with these rewards, some chains like Ethereum and Solana take advantage of an implementation called MEV, which can increase staking rewards even more. However, this is a topic for another video, so subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up for the Figment Insider so you don't miss it. So how do we participate in protocol staking? There's three main options if you're looking to participate in protocol staking. You can be a delegator, you can be a validator, or you can be an integrator. Let's break those down, starting with delegator. A delegator, also called a staker, is a token holder who locks up their digital assets and delegates them to a validator. You can think of this like signaling to the validator you're staking is a good actor, and for this, you'll share in their good acting. This process is known as delegating stake because you're delegating your stake weight to the validator, not to be confused with sending your tokens to the validator. Protocol staking is non-custodial, meaning you or your custodian retain custody of your tokens the entire time. This process is fairly passive, and for locking up your tokens to improve network security, you're rewarded with a share of network fees on top of new token issuances. This is how protocol staking aligns the incentives of the token holders with the ones maintaining the network. Or you can be a validator. This can be rather complicated and has a lot of nuances from chain to chain. Being a validator requires running specialized software known as a node. It's this network of nodes that makes up the blockchain validating transactions on chain and maintaining the infrastructure needed to run these proof of stake protocols. You'll also need to self stake and or receive delegations of digital assets to your validator node to get into the active set for most blockchains while keeping your validator node online, updated, secure, and honest. 
Honest meaning you're a good actor in the network, maintaining uptime and not double signing transactions. This stake is how the network incentivizes and promotes security, availability of the validator nodes, and honest network participation. This helps incentivize the permissionless, decentralized, and trustless nature of the ledger. In exchange, validators receive rewards from network fees, new block issuances, and reward optimizations like MEV. And last but not least, we have Integrator. The options for being an integrator have seen tremendous growth, encompassing a wide range from asset managers, exchanges, marketplaces, custodians, fund products, foundations, wallets, and much more. Integrators help extrapolate away the complexities and nuances of staking, and in turn, share in the rewards with their customers. As running validators can be nuanced and challenging, many integrators choose to work with service providers that specialize in staking. At Figment, we know these complexities well and have a whole toolbox to help integrators get to market faster. As we can see, protocol staking represents a massive opportunity for institutions looking to accumulate more digital assets for their participation in the underlying technology. Several options exist for participating in protocol staking as we just covered. However, the best implementation and the optimal way to build it will depend on your needs. Figment stands ready to offer guidance and support around the optimal choice for each partner to offer their own high quality protocol staking solution. Whether you're a delegator, validator, or integrator, Figment is your complete staking solution. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, make sure to share it with a friend. If you'd like to dive deeper into anything that we discussed in this video, you can find all the relevant links below or at figment.io. We also have more videos like this on our YouTube channel, so make sure to go check them out. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking.